Okay, one thing there's been a lot of talk about recently, um, in the last, I'd say, year or two, is the use of LEDs in pinball machines. Um, I personally do use them in a few applications in pinball, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the difference between having the LEDs and not. Um, right here I have my Adams family, and this is just using regular incandescent bulbs for the inserts. Uh, for the general illumination lighting as well as all of the flashers and the back box. What I'm going to do is go ahead and replace LEDs for all of the inserts but I'm going to leave the general illumination alone and I haven't decided about the back box yet but what I'll do is make another video right afterwards and splice them together so you can see the difference from one to the other. Um, just for a quick comparison, however, this is my Lord of the Rings, which does have LEDs in it, but only in the inserts, which you can see are much brighter. Um, the Indiana Jones is using incandescent right now. This Twilight Zone is using LEDs. And this Bride of Pinbot is using LEDs. But really the best will be when we compare the Adams Family. So I'll go ahead and do a couple of close shots on some things in the Adams Family. And then immediately after, um, when the video fades out and fades back up, it'll have the LEDs on. Okay, so I'm in the middle of changing these uh, lights out for LEDs, and I've done the mansion lights. And one thing I wanted to point out is the difference of just using all white LEDs and matching the insert colors. With these two green ones right here, the top one I used a green LED, the bottom one I used a white LED. I'm not sure if it's going to come through very well on the video or not, but I just want to point out... Um, that this top one is a lot more of a deep green it's it's a lot more rich while this bottom one still looks nice and actually a little bit brighter than the incandescent bulb it's actually a bit more washed out and uh... not quite as deep of a color as, as we have in this one so if it doesn't come across in the video you're just gonna have to take my word for it but um, when you're switching out insert lights with LEDs it's always a good idea to match LED color to the insert and also pay really close attention to the difference between yellow, amber, and orange because they're very similar when you kind of glance at the LED but they're very different um, on the play field and you don't want to ch change colors of your game um, incorrectly. Okay, here we are with the finished product. Um, if you'll notice one thing very obvious is the white insert are m much much brighter I want to show the difference between a LED flasher and the incandescent flasher that's the incandescent there's the LED um, you can notice quite a dramatic difference between the two the LED is a lot brighter again like inserts you'd match color so I only changed this one just to show but um, if I was to change those red flashers I'd use red LED flashers um, Let's take a look at the play field though. Now right here, I left one of the greed lights um, with incandescent right there so you can see the difference. It's kind of a warm looking glow compared to the stark bright white glow. Um, in the video it looks like the the uh, inserts wash out a little bit with the brightness but in person it's not so you can read the inserts perfectly well um, so I'm not sure why it's coming out like that on the camera but but it's just a kind of a weird oddity um, but yeah the, the inserts look great uh, like I said if you want to compare it to how it looked before just rewind the video back to the beginning and take a look at it um, I, I like LEDs and inserts quite a bit. Now there's a couple places that I didn't use them mainly here in the lightning bolts. These are still incandescents 
um, regular flashers and same with the power right there. reason behind that was that it just looked better with incandescence. So it's not a hard and fast 